Hey everybody, what's up? So, on today's episode of Fishing with This Guy, we're going to do a little catch and cook perch on the lake. I'm on a lake right now. There's some nice perch out here. Um, you can catch them up shallow. They've gotten hit pretty hard the last few years. I'm going to try to find them suspended out here in like 30 feet of water or so. And get some real nice ones that can get to be big schools out here. It's kind of weird. You know, you don't need to see that, but you might find 40 feet of water and the perch are suspended 20 to 30 feet. And they're always pretty big. When I say big around here, you know, a 10 inch is pretty nice size around my general area. But I'm going to try a little bit of everything. We're going to try to target them with bigger, you know, I'm going to probably throw a buckshot. Uh, some sort of big spoon, maybe Lindy rattle and flyer spoon, rip and wrap, minnow heads on them, whatever. I gotta use to find these fish. But anyway, I'm gonna dig some gear out, drill a bunch of holes, and try to get us some food. So, all right, so I'm gonna try to target some bigger fish in the school. I just have a Northland buckshot jig here with a large minnow head on it. It's gonna be a lot of small fish down there, so we're gonna see if we can pull some of these bigger fish. <clears throat> There's one. This one could be bigger. Hit that buckshot pretty aggressively anyway. There, look at that, see? That's how you pull those big fish out of the school. That was perfect. Let's see if I can replay that again. I always tell people big fish, big bait. There's another one. Must be another big fish. Be another big perch. Ooh, this is gonna be a really nice perch, I bet. This feels a lot heavier than the other ones have been. Oh, there's a nice one. There's a really nice one, you guys. Look at that. Hog dogger. That's probably an 11 inch fish. Right, we're gonna try another one of my favorite lures. We got a Lindy rattling flyer spoon here. I've caught walleyes, I've caught giant perch, I've caught everything on these. Got him. This feels like a good fish. Oh yeah, definitely. Definitely a good fish. The flyer spoon produce, gonna produce a nice one here, you guys. Look at that. There we go. There we go. Told you it would produce a nice one. Oh, just smack that thing. Get that out of his mouth here. Oh. All right. We're about. 60 yards from our other hole. We found some more fish, some different fish. Let's see if there's any. Uh, the big ones tied up down there anywhere. There's one. This is going to be a nice fish now. But hammered it. Gotta be a big one. Gotta be a big one. There's a, there's a, there's a big one we were waiting for right there, you guys. That rattling blade spoon. Another nice perch. Well, this one's gonna go in the fryer. Oh. 
Hey guys, before I get uh, into this big cooking portion of the video, I'm just gonna show you a few of the products I use today. Um, people always ask me about the products I use. And a couple of the products I'm gonna start with is this large backpack style tackle bag made by Pissafun. Um, this bag is waterproof. It has multiple, I think it's 11 separate pockets that you can store your gear in. I actually really like this bag. You can, here's the storage space on the top. You can put in, let's say, you know, I keep in, I keep my spoon boxes up here. Another, you know, neat feature of this box is, so here's the front. There's tackle storage trays in the front, this bad boy. Four tackle trays for storage. And if you want, you can pull some of this out and the inside of this bag literally velcros and opens up. See that? That means that you can fold this flap down and pull some of these out to expand them for more storage. <clears throat> One thing I like about it is if I want to walk into, say, you know, a more remote lake, um, what I'll do is I'll take a couple of these out, you know, I don't, I don't bring a ton of tackle with me, but I'll put a couple rods in here, close this, just zip around the corners so the tips of the rods stick out. I can carry that back, you know, however far I want carry my you know just carry a pistol bit or whatever I want with me back in there but I have my soft plastics in here I have spoons in here I have hooks you can put about anything you want in this bag I have four spools of fluorocarbon in here uh, but yeah anyway this bag is waterproof it has made fishing a lot easier for me for tackle storage and for bringing into remote locations Pistol fun, waterproof tackle bag. I like it. Um, let's see here. 36 inch uh, tuned up custom rod fusion. Uh, I just was using some random spoons today. I got a long, 13 long stem reel on it, but it's a great rod for a good, good all around rod. Four pound test on that. Markham LX7 fish finder. This thing's pretty much sweet. Yeah, those are some of the some of the great you know things I've been using. Um, you know, and it makes you know it makes life a lot easier to uh, to enjoy when you're out fishing. So anyway, let's get to the cooking portion. All right, everybody. So this is going to be my catch and cook perch on the lake video. Um, I don't know, I kept, I think, eight or nine perch, something like that. Uh, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to clean four of them, pan fry them with some butter and some seasoning. Something you can do simply on the lake here, um, or any lake. You know, I have a fish house set up today, which is much nicer, no wind, no nothing on that order. So I'm just going to clean a perch for you guys quick. I'm not going to show you the rest of them, and then we'll get to cooking. All right. Got one perch here. The biggest perch I caught was 10 and 3 quarter inches long, just so you guys know. I didn't get anything that was 11 inches long. But anything 9 to, I mean 9 inches and up is perfectly good table fare. You can actually get some meat off of a 9 inch fish. Smaller than that, you know, you want to keep them clean them, go for it. It's just tough to get any amount of meat off of them when they're that small. You're going you're gonna to flee this just like you would any, and I should say I would, any other walleye or, you know, perch or crappie. Like this is just a classic fillet method. On, on bigger, you know, bigger fish, like bigger walleyes, bigger perch, there's a, a line of pin bones in these fillets that you can take out. Some people don't. I like to take them out often, my fillets, and they run right down. In fact, see that? My finger's hooking on right now. You don't want one of those in your gums. So you just feel where they are, put your finger down, you know, right about, well, you can, fit, you can feel where the end of it is at, okay? and just remove those pin bones out of there 
and that is your fillet. And that's how you get them ready for the fryer. All right, you guys. So here are all my clean perch fillets. Here I just have a simple bag with, this is like flour, seasoning salt, just some spices I threw together, you know, you can make your own. That's basically what I did. So I'm going to take those fillets, throw them in the old seasoning salt here, give them a shake, let it soak on there for a little bit, and I'll get my stove and everything else ready. All right, guys, so there's my setup. It's nothing elaborate. It's something that everybody could carry in their pickup someplace. A little propane stove, one pound cylinder. Um, I do have this pan here. And all I'm going to do is, here we go. <clears throat> Turn this. Turn this down quite a ways. Just like that. I have my air vents open just so everybody knows. And I actually have, there we go. And I have a couple windows open, so there's no danger of me getting asphyxiation or anything like that. Got a spatula. I'm using my uh, angle cooler as part of my table. All mode here. Got all my perch fillets here. I'm just gonna put them in the pan here. I know the pan's uneven, but it's not gonna bug me. Copper pan, I'll just move them around a little bit. One more. So there are eight fillets in this pan that, you know, will be plenty to fill me up. See the perch? They've only been in the pan for about two minutes, but they're nice and golden brown on the back side. And I can see by the front that they were cooked all the way through. So I just flip them over once or twice to get a nice crisp crust on, on both sides. Put them on my napkin over there. You're good to go. I mean, while I'm doing this, I could have a couple dead sticks down. I actually was gonna put a kip up down in this hole over here, but I figured I'd just relax. It's something just fun to do. Alright you guys, there is the finished product of those perch, nice and golden brown on both sides. Put them on the napkin, let them cool down, then we'll take a bite. Oh, Alright you guys, there is my finished product right there. All my hard work. See that? Right there. 
That is my perch. And I'm... <sighs> this is super good. I know it's going to be. I know it's going to be. Hmm. I'm so hungry. That is amazing. You know, I know there's a lot easier ways to do this, I'm sure. I could have grabbed a 20 pro pound propane cylinder and just got a you know deep fryer and deep fried them, you know. That's probably the best way to go. For portability, you know, and, and numerous people out here. But this works for me. I've done it numerous occasions. Um, I did a video last year on uh, catch and cook crappie outside by my pickup. But anyway, catch and cook perch. This is uber amazing. Fantastic. I'm going to eat this fish. Try to catch a walleye. Maybe get it on video. Not this video, but another one. But anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed my catch and cook on the lake video. For more videos, keep please like, share, subscribe, um, all that jazz. Follow me on my social media. You're gonna see the link, you know, the name for that on you know Instagram, Facebook. Share my videos. I appreciate everybody watching my videos. Um, gonna be putting more out here shortly, hopefully. Um, yeah. So anyway, hope you guys enjoy the new products that I'm using, and have a great day.